that there's a tr truck in question. Uh, owner says a driver was coming down from a trip and uh, says check engine light turned on. Uh, truck went down to 70 percent. It uh, dropped reduced power to 70 or something like that. That's what he said. I'm not sure if he said 70 miles an hour or 70 percent power, but. He claims that there's a check engine light and the truck is not running properly. So let me go ahead and climb in, connect the laptop, and I'll be right, I'll be right with you guys. Well, guys, I uh, had to turn on the truck. Uh, it's a little too hot down here in South Texas, so I'm going to run this little baby for a little while, cool down a bit while I go ahead and uh, make all the connections. We'll connect the laptop and stuff like that, turn it on, and uh, get started. So let me go ahead and get ready. Guys, on this one, I'm going to be using the Joy Pro since this is a uh, 2015 uh, Kenworth uh, T680. Uh, it's equipped with a uh, Pacar engine. I believe it's a uh, MX13. I believe uh, I don't have any kind of program for these type of engines, so I'm going to go ahead and use J Pro and see what I can get with this program here. There will be a second guys, uh, computer's taking a while for it to kick in, but... As you can see, here we have our engine, it's a 2015 Kenworth with a MX-13, so yeah, I was right. And over here, we're getting a whole bunch of inactive codes. Uh, retarder, engine video, black canvas. No, control unit cannot read message from ABS. Uh, it's gonna have a few codes, guys. Uh, let me scroll down real quick. And we'll see what comes up. So let me go ahead and scroll down on our codes, catalyst, tank level, over voltage, left, right handle beam, high beam, it's probably going to be a harness problem. I'm going to go ahead and check the harnesses, make sure they're not all deteriorating and stuff like that. Our rear turn signals. Power take up ours. Diesel particular filter lamp message error. Exhaust system high temperature lamp message. Regeneration inhibit due to inhibit switch message error. Normal rate of change. That's a def tank. Engine rail pressure increased too slow. EGR shutoff. Fuel pressure data. Level. Oil pressure rail is incorrect. Diesel particular filter regeneration complete but insufficient. So we're going to go ahead and run a region on this one. Hydrocarbon storage. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and run a region, see if that helps. And, well, for starters, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run a region on this sucker. See if that helps any. One, two, I'm going to go ahead and check the harnesses at the headlight and the taillights. Make sure that they're not all, you know, breaking apart or you know, grounded wires, whatever. So uh, let me go ahead and get ready 
and start running the t uh, other tests real quick. Give me one second. First of all, guys, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can run an after treatment diagnostic. start a regen. Okay, it says cruise control is on. You can't run a test. You can't do it. I just turned the switch off. Let's try it again. And there it goes. Well guys, that's going to be... We're going to go ahead and start with that. We're going to run a regen real quick. I'm going to go ahead and keep an eye on the pressures, differential pressure, so on and so forth. I'm going to keep an eye on my temperatures. Uh, temperatures got to climb, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on everything. I'll come back with you guys uh, when this thing is actually a little bit further into the regen than right now. So I'll come back to you guys in a bit. There you can see the temperatures, pressures. We'll come back and uh, I'll show you the differences. Well guys, uh, we're like two minutes in. Temperature's barely at 480. DOC inlet is 405. Injector pressure is barely at 37. Outlet is 301. Yeah, 70% depth level. Tank temperature is 9320. Differential pressure is 0.13. So let's wait for a little while longer and uh, it should, that one should climb above 500. So it should this one and this last one over here is going to be like at 6, 650, give or take. That's what we want. Okay, guys, the uh, 507, 433. Injector pressure hasn't changed. Differential pressure is just a little bit higher. This one kind of dropped. So let's just continue and we'll see what happens. guys I think the injector uh, I I think the injector nozzle for the def is either clogged or the def pump is not uh, I'll look into that one and let you guys know but I'm thinking it's going to be something with the injector nozzle for the def that's not letting it actually perform the regen and get that DPF filter clean. I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Well guys, uh, took a little break off of that truck for a little while. Uh, the injector nozzle on it, uh, the def injector nozzle was all clogged. Uh, I didn't show you guys me taking it off and cleaning it out. Uh, I just kind of tried to clean it out. Uh, there was a whole bunch of little crystals on the little injector port and uh, of course on the gasket that, uh, for that little dozer injector. Uh, it had a whole bunch of crystal just clogging up that uh, port, so I went ahead and cleared it out, and uh, went ahead, I'm going to go ahead and connect and try that regen all over again. Uh, I just came in to cool down, cool off just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be heading out that way, heading back to the truck, and I'll show you what's happening after the nozzle's been cleaned. Well, guys, there you see that uh, after treatment injector actually kicked in. It's at 127 PSI. Temperature on the DOC is 492, 403, 480. It's 
tend to be long since the temperature will actually go up. Differential pressure is a little bit high or higher than what it was. when this thing hits over 600 well guys as you can see the temperature is climbing it's at 760 that's what we wanted it's blowing out some of that soot it, uh, it's heating up turning that soot into ash and it should blow it out the tailpipe or the muffler uh, out the muffler and that DPF filter there's no way there's no way of getting it uh, you know bringing it up to a new but if we can get this thing to 13, 14% soot, that should be more than enough. And this truck should be able to, it'll function way, way better than what it was. So let's go ahead and continue with this region and I'll keep you guys posted on what it's doing. Well guys, the exhaust gas temperatures should have gone to roughly around 600, but since they're not, it, I'm going to say that it's because the DPF filter was not actually clogged all the way through. It was just partially clogged. That's why the temperature is not rising that much. The DOC inlet is not climbing much either. Uh, I'm going to say it was due to the DPF filter not being completely clogged. But as you can see, the temperature is rising. The dozer pump is injecting depth into that uh, DPF filter, getting the, turning that soot into ash and uh, blowing it out I mean it's doing what it's supposed to but these temperatures are not climbing high as high as I would have liked them to but I'm gonna say it's due to the DPF not being fully fully clogged as you can see the DPF uh, differential pressure is somewhat changing it's due to that uh, converting of soot to ash so once it blows all that crap out that differential pressure should drop uh, let's say uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, give or take. All right, I'll come back to you guys and show you the progress on this one. Well, guys, uh, this uh, force regen is about to come to an end. I'm going to say it's got another maybe five minutes to go. And as you can see, temperature's still up there. These outlet temperatures are getting hotter. That means successfully cleaning that DPF. We need heat. The more um, I've seen these suckers climb out, climb all the way to a thousand degrees. So uh, that's when they're freaking dirtiest. I mean, like really dirty. But this one seems to be sta staying at 875. So I'm gonna say this should be done in the next maybe five, ten minutes tops. So uh, let me go ahead and let this thing run its course. And then I'll show you guys the differences. Look at that pressure, it's already dropping. It's 23 instead of 25. So something is happening and, uh, well, I'm gonna say that that DPF filter is getting cleaned out. So let me go ahead and let this thing run its course and I'll come back to you guys and show you the differences in temperatures and of course, differential pressure and stuff like that. Well guys, that was that. The temperatures are dropping. Regen is off. There we go. Differential pressure is down to 4, 0.04. So, to me, that was a successful regen right there. I mean, uh, there's a, somewhat of fumes coming into the truck from the exhaust system. I mean, I could smell something burning. I checked the underside. That muffler just got a little too hot. I gotta go under it and check and see, make sure there's no ruptured lines or no leaking fluids. But all in all, I'm gonna call this a successful region. Let me go ahead and exit out of this and continue with the rest of the codes. Well guys, uh, I came back inside. Uh, the truck ran fawn. As you saw at the end, uh, pressures did drop on the differential pressure switch, which is basically uh, inlet pressure is more uh, almost the same as the outlet. The difference is like 0 
which is, I mean, to me, that's a great number right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this, uh, end this video. Uh, I am going to go ahead and order that dozer, uh, that deaf dozer little um, injector. Uh, I just don't feel right about leaving it in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So I ordered an uh, injector gasket so I can go ahead and replace that one. Uh, I'll show you guys me replacing it as soon as I do get the parts in. Uh, it's going to be a few days. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Uh, well, guys, I hope you liked the video. Hey, like and comment, guys.